Hey guys, given the areas of three squares, what is the area of the shaded triangle? So all three of these are squares. For this square to have an area of nine, that means the sides are gonna be three by three. And for this square to have an area of 16, its sides need to be four by four. And the largest square will have sides nine by nine. So the base is gonna be nine, and this whole side will be nine, meaning this piece is six, and this whole side will be nine, meaning this piece is five. And we wanna find the area of this blue triangle. Let's drop down an altitude, which will give us the height of the triangle. Let's call this length A, this length B, and let's call the height C. So we know that A plus B is also equal to 9 because it's one of the sides of this larger square. Next, let's look at this yellow triangle right here and this green triangle right here. Since they both have a right angle and these two angles are equal here by corresponding angles, these two triangles are similar. So we can say 3 over 6 is equal to A over C. And then we can do the same thing for this orange triangle and this red triangle. Since these two triangles are similar, we can also say that 4 over 5 equals B over C. And now let's scoot these over and let's cross multiply. 3 times C is equal to 6 times A, and 4 times C is equal to 5 times B. Let's get rid of these. Let's get A and B alone. So for this one, let's divide both sides by 6, and for this one, let's divide both sides by 5. 6A over 6 is A, and this becomes 1 half C. And then 5 over 5B becomes B, and this becomes 4 fifths C. Now let's go back to A plus B equals 9. For the A, I'm going to plug in 1 half C, and for the B, I'm going to plug in 4 fifths C. Let's get rid of this stuff, and let's multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which is 10. 10 times 1 half C is 10 halves C. 10 times 4 fifths C is 40 fifths C, and 9 times 10 is 90. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 40 divided by 5 is 8. 5C plus 8C is equal to 13C. Divide both sides by 13, and we get C is equal to 90 thirteenths. Let's get rid of this stuff and bring that up. So our goal here was to find the area of this blue triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. The base of this triangle is the whole side of this square, which is equal to 9, and the height is the C, which is 90 thirteenths. After we multiply this times this times this, we get 810 over 26, which simplifies into 405 over 13. And this is equal to 31 and 2 thirteenths. And since it's an area, we can say units squared. So the area of this region is 31 and 2 thirteenths units squared. How exciting.